What's up guys? Today is a big video. As you know, I have been traveling through Cambodia now for the past month. This is actually the vlog that concludes that travel series. Now with that conclusion comes the beginning of a brand new travel series. I'm excited to announce who it's with. When I started travel vlogging January 1st, 2016, it was always my dream to work with a tourism board because it would be such a natural and seamless fit with what I do. I'm excited to say that today's video and the upcoming travel series is going to be brought to you in partnership with a certain tourism board. Now, we'll get back to that in just a sec. Today's vlog, like all travel days, was a little chaotic. I said my goodbye to the guys, and it's been so much fun traveling with Ronnie and Ben, and I definitely can see many more travels with these guys down the line. So, I got into the taxi, I met a taxi driver by the name of Steven. Did you go America? Huh? Normally, you get into a Thai taxi, and they don't generally speak any English. Steven, on the other hand, he spoke English very well and he had a lot to say. He was telling me that next time I come back to Thailand, I better bring him a red Canadian t-shirt and he gave me his phone number. Brother, I hope you have a nice trip back home now. Yes, thank say, you very much, say Steven. Say hi to you, your dad, your mom too. I will say hi. He's telling me about how he's currently arguing with his seventh wife because a customer has invited him to go visit her in LA and his wife doesn't like the idea of that. You never know, maybe I'll see Steven down the line. From there, he dropped me off at the airport. I boarded my flight going to Hong Kong, and three hours later, I was in Hong Kong. We have just landed here in Hong Kong about three hours later. What I was trying to say before getting interrupted by needing to board my flight is that we're going somewhere very special next. A lot of you guys have been saying to Laura and I that we need to explore our own backyard more. And we actually did a full series by the name of Vlogging Van City, where we showed you Vancouver in depth. And I'm very, very excited to announce that we are now working with our next door neighbor. Travel Alberta has contacted Laura and I, and we're going to be going there on March 10th to give you a full and comprehensive review and showcase of what Alberta has to offer. We are going to be showing you guys the Rocky Mountains. We're going to be hanging out with deer, elk, moose. Okay, I can't guarantee a moose, but I really hope I see one. We're going to be meeting a bison whisperer. We're basically going to show you Alberta like it's meant to be seen. Now, what is Alberta? Alberta is actually our next door neighbor in Vancouver. So Vancouver is on the west coast. Alberta is one province over from it. It has some of the most beautiful scenes that you will see in the entire world. And that is where our next travel series is going to be taking you to very, very soon. Alberta is one of the crown jewels of Canada. They have the beautiful Rocky Mountains, they have the untamed wildlife, the incredible city life, and they honestly have so, so much more to offer that you will be seeing in our eight day travel series as we go around Alberta. This is gonna be a complete change. As I leave here in my t-shirts and shorts, I am now heading to a place where I'm gonna be packing my winter jacket my snow pants, and I couldn't be more excited to do it. It's kind of funny because here I am, I'm going from this warm climate of Cambodia where every day is t-shirts and shorts. Now that's one of the things I love about travel is the fact that you can so quickly change up your environment, change up your surroundings, and that is exactly what we're doing here with Travel Alberta. We are going from having visited tropical islands, the world's largest religious monuments, to now visiting one of the world's largest sets of mountains. We're going to be going dog sledding, skiing, and literally we're gonna be using ice picks to climb up a mountain. This is going to be an incredible winter adventure and I could not be more excited about the contrast between the warm and the cold. And yes, my beautiful partner in crime will be joining me on this one. So one of the really unique things that we're going to be doing with this upcoming travel series is we're actually going to be doing lots of different live engagements with you. So how do you get involved? Make sure you're following Laura and I on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook. We're going to be doing different things like Twitter polls to actually ask you how you want to see us travel around Alberta during our days. So when we reach the pinnacle of a mountain, I'm going to pull out my phone, do a live stream on Instagram. So make sure you're following us there. And same thing goes for Facebook. For all my social channels, it's always at Lost LeBlanc. So now that I've spilled the beans, told you guys where we're off to next, let's get back into the conclusion of our Cambodia series. And I cannot wait to get lost with you guys in Alberta on March 10th. I'm about 15 hours away from getting back home and I have not seen Laura in close to a month, so I miss her a lot. I'm really excited. She's going to be picking me up at the airport. Thank 
crazy full flight. Hello. Check, check. That's a good sign. So we are back in Vancouver after about a 16 hour travel day. Really not that bad considering it normally takes me like 20 to get back from Asia. Uh, but still, it's tiring. Just happy to be back. And I'm already needing to get climatized for the next big trip being Alberta. I got off the plane here in Vancouver and I could feel it. I do not belong in shorts here anymore. I need to get into pants, maybe a sweater. And Laura is outside waiting for me, so let's go. And look at this, the welcoming committee. <laughs> Hello. Thank Hi. you so I have much. Yeah. There's a picture of a swatch. It's beautiful. Wow. I made it in the car on the way here. <laughs> and roll up the rim. I know. You seem like you've been very productive. Yes, I have actually. I'm, I, it can get a little bit more done when you're not around, which sounds bad, but I'm not distracted because when I when yeah. we work together, I just want to like hang out and like snuggle on the couch and like just sleep. Yeah. So you've been on a fitness plan? Yes, oh my gosh. And eating really healthy, minus this donut I'm about to eat. So we just got home and I'm exhausted. I'm pretty much gonna call it a day here, but Cambodia was an amazing three and a half weeks. If you guys haven't already seen those videos, make sure to check out the playlist. It's linked down below. Um, our next trip, again, with Travel Alberta. Could not be more excited. Um, so excited. Yeah, we're leaving in about seven days. Uh, there might be one video leading up to that, but otherwise I'm gonna be taking a bit of downtime to work on other projects. So there might be a few days where I don't upload a video, but do expect to see content nonetheless. We're reunited! And we're reunited, Yay! so that's super exciting. Guys, give this video a thumbs up if you're excited to have me back. Which yeah. it, you all should be, so this should have however many thumbs up. 30,000 thumbs up? Thumbs up. Smash that thumbs up button. Smash the thumbs up. what people say? Yeah. Yeah. Some people. Let's get lost again. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe, maybe the, the day after. Day. Maybe the day after. Maybe on Monday. Fun of the day.